We love brackets, we love football, yes, and we're we gonna bring yeah. in the two. I want you guys to take a look at this. It is our football coaching GOAT bracket, and you see all the great names in the game from the NFL on the left side to the college football side on your right side. Guys, take it away. All right, I'll start with the NFL, and okay. we'll do the okay. Battle of the Bills. Easily the most interesting matchup on this bracket, Bill Belichick, Bill Walsh. Now, I understand Walsh, He's the innovator of offense, roster construction, and how to build a team. We still see that in the NFL. He won three Super Bowls. But I'm not sure we will ever, and I mean ever, see a 20-year run the way we saw with the New England Patriots. Nine Super Bowl appearances, six Super Bowl wins, all doing that in his salary cap era. That winner is Bill Belichick. Let's go to the bottom. Don Shula, Vince Lombardi. Now, Don Shula has the most wins in the NFL. He has got the greatest season ever with the 1972 Miami Dolphins. That won what? The Super Bowl. What yep. do you get when you win the Super Bowl? The oh. Vince Lombardi Trophy. I'm sorry, Don. I'm not talking about steakhouses because if I was, the 10-ounce filet, mac and cheese <laughs> with a wedge salad, you would be the winner. But when the trophy's named after you, Trev, Vince Lombardi, he's the winner. Shouts to Shula is down in Disney World. Yes, it sir. was a treat. I have been there. It was wonderful. Anyways, college side, nice. we got Saban taking on Tom Osborne. And all due respect to the former Cosman, uh, congressman, but Saban is washing him. Seven <laughs> titles. We just spoke about that. He is at the top of the list when it comes to college football coaches. He advances with ease. Now on the bottom of that bracket, we have another Alabama legend. Actually, he's the only other man that could put pressure on Saban as far as a job True. goes. Bear Bryant. Six titles at Alabama. Only man to match Saban's number there. He is absolutely watching and getting Newt Rotney up out of the paint. I understand that he advanced the game in the forward pass and everything like that, but it's titles, baby. That's how far we're going back. Six huh? to three. Okay. All forward right. passes. You guys are good. I like your picks, but let's go to the real experts. That's where we go to Mina Kimes. I'm just kidding. What kind of Mina hotel Kimes is she's going to talk right. NFL. Here's her pick. <laughs> The greatest head coach in the NFL of all time is clearly Bill Belichick, not just because he has the most Super Bowl win six, but because he's done it in the salary cap era. That is so challenging year after year to maintain the level of quality he has with that football team, and it's why he'll probably always be the GOAT. Okay, so Mina Kimes going with Bill Belichick. Duh. I mean, no <laughs> surprise there, but I want to know what Dan Orlovsky thinks on the college side. Nick Saban is unquestionably the greatest college football coach ever. Seven national championships over the course of 13 seasons, done in the hardest time of recruiting with so many different options school-wise for so many different kids. He's the greatest leader and the greatest winner college football has ever seen. That was the granddaughter of Bear Bryant behind him, yeah, by the way. You got a ghost? <laughs> okay, guys, we have our final matchup. You got Bill Belichick, Nick Saban, and that's now where we go to yet another expert, Laura Rutledge. Break it down for us who you got. Nick Saban is the greatest coach of all time, and it has a lot to do with the fact that he has continued to evolve. So as things have changed around him, he's been able to see ahead of the game, unlike other people, and said, I need to continue to make my offense be better than these other defenses and do things that no one is expecting. For that reason, he stayed just enough ahead to continue and consistently win championships. I think that's the biggest key, as well as his way that he is with his players. These players that play for Nick Saban absolutely love him. Even when he's hard on them, they love him like he's their own father. Mm. Going with Nick Saban, what do you I'm guys not, think? I'm not, I you think there's... Wrong? I think there's a legitimate debate here that Bill Belichick with professional athletes in a salary cap driven league that is driven about parity and in 20 years he's dominated and dictated what the standard of excellence is with nine Super Bowls, six Super Bowl wins with professional athletes. It's easier to recruit and to do that than it is to do what he's done in the NFL. You just made the argument against parity by how dominant he's been. There hasn't been parity. Will we ever see that again? No, I'm not, I'm not saying that we're going to see it again, but you literally just dismantled your own argument for parity. Nick Saban has been the man that has adapted to change each and every step of the way. He's been able to what flow. What changed? Every offensive advancement that he's made on the college level, that's impossible to refute.